Hey, what's up guys, Josh Bruce here, and welcome back to a One Piece deck profile. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I told myself I'd be playing a lot more One Piece once set 2 dropped, and I actually could get my hands on some products, uh, which I could, as you can see here. And uh, yeah, this has been pretty much the deck I've been most excited for uh, since it was announced, which is the black uh, deck, specifically Smoker, because he is one of my favorite characters in the, in the series. So I was very excited to build this deck. I don't really want to talk too much before showing off the actual deck list. Uh, I've been testing a little bit at locals as well as on the uh, simulator. And I think the deck is good. Like on paper it has pretty good matchups all across the board. But uh, in actual practice it mostly lacks a little bit of consistency and cycle. Um, but there's not really much to do about that at this point in the, in the game. We really have to wait for some cards like uh, Brand New and Califi in the next set to actually get access to that. But I still don't think the deck is uh, bad and it's a lot of fun to play. So yeah, uh, let's just check it out. So the leader is Smoker. Uh, he says with one done, activate main boss per turn. You can uh, reduce the cost of one of your opponent's characters. And then if there's a character in play with cost of zero, it gets plus 1000. So it's like boosts up to uh, 7000 relatively easily, which is nice. But the minus one is also just nice when you're trying to control the board with uh, the removal cards. Uh, so yeah, that's the leader. Then for the one drops. Uh, this is pretty standard, I think, just a full place of Tsugu. She is uh, a 2k counter, which is obviously very strong. And then on play, you can give one of your opponents minus 2 cost. Like, you really don't want to be doing that because on field, like, it's 0, right? So it doesn't really do anything at all. You really want to keep the 2k counter in hand. But sometimes to remove some stuff, uh, you have to play this. But yeah, it's not something you want to be doing necessarily. Then the next card is uh, something I don't think a lot of people are playing. But I'm playing uh, Tree Bell Mare. I want to play 4, but uh, space a little bit tight, of course. Uh, it's a 1k counter, which is nice. And then activate main, you can rest this and then give one of your opponent's characters minus 1 cost. And then boost either your leader or one of your characters uh, with the plus 1000. Mostly it's just nice to have something to do on turn 1, but it can also definitely... Like, it's not super threatening, so usually your opponent is not trying to remove it uh, from the field early on. You can just kind of play a little bit control with the cost reduction and it's also just nice in combination with uh, something like Borsalino because it's just hard to get into the field like that and that's it for the one drops then moving on to the two drops uh, we are playing the full place of Agosi Nante yes blockers are sort of bad in this format because pretty much every deck just has a really easy time removing small blockers like this but I still think it's important to have uh, have them in the deck right for the late game where you have to play a little bit defensively and even in the early game just uh, having this is pretty much an opening play because you do always want to go second uh, it's not bad and then the other two cost I'm playing is Garp um, rip the two uh, non-alt arts and once again 2k counter which is very nice but the unfield effect it does come up uh, where it says, you know, with two done when attacking, you can KO up one of your, uh, your opponent's characters with the cost of zero. So you can definitely play a little bit of a control game, specifically in the early game, uh, in combination with the smoker, and possibly something you got to play on your uh, second turn. This can definitely come up to remove small uh, threats on the field, but it's mostly just there to be the 2k counter, let's be real. I'm not playing any other two drops. Like, I did uh, play test the starter deck Hell Mepo. And I definitely think it's good and it might, actu might actually have a place in the deck, but for now I'm not on it. Uh, for the three drops, we have the full place of uh, Kobe. This is just one of the best cards in the deck. You can just card from your hand to the um, KO one of your opponent's characters with cost of three or less, which is very easy to uh, get. It's also just uh, it's a counter. It has 4k uh, power. Just uh, yeah, very strong. And I'm also on the full place of Hell Mepo. Um, which is the one that plays itself from the life as a trigger effect and when attacking uh, you do minus two on one of your opponent's characters and then it gets plus two if there's a zero cost on the field. So it's just really nice that for uh, zero done you can just swing with this for 5k uh, power. Sometimes that is, like of course it uh, doesn't happen every time, but there is a lot of decks in the format that play low cost guys. Like uh, the Zoro Rush deck for example, where this card is just really nice because again for zero don't just swing and your opponent you know will have to use a blocker or a counter to not lose uh, a life there uh, yeah really liking this card and then i'm also on the full playset of smoker 
I wasn't playing this uh, card in my first draft, but just having characters that can't be KO'd is very strong. And it specifically, I think it's very nice against Whitebeard because it boosts itself up to 6k again for no dawn. So uh, you can actually swing at Whitebeard without having to buff up your guys too much, which is nice. And you can also just keep it on the field uh, to basically go wide for the late game because it's really hard to get off the field if you're not playing against uh, blue or green. And green is a pretty bad matchup anyway. So yeah, that's it for the three drops. Uh, again, another card I kind of like is Tashigi from the starter deck, which is also a 2k counter. Um, but you have to tap it to give the minus a cost. And honestly, I haven't really gotten into a lot of game states where I was really like, oh man, I really need that uh, extra cost reduction to the place I want to do. Uh, but that's still a card to consider for sure. Then for the four drops, um, yeah, just the full place of Kuzan. Just to draw and play specifically is very nice, but also the attacking minus 4 cost just really sets you up to get rid of pretty much everything. Um, yeah, not much to say about that, I think. And I'm also on the full playset of um, Bosalino, which is, um, again, one of the best cards in the deck, to be honest, I think. Just because it can't be deleted by effects, much like the Smoker, and then... It's also for 4, it's essentially a 6k blocker because during your opponent's turn it gets plus um, 1000. Yeah, th these cards are just absolutely insane and I really don't see a reason why you would want to play less than the full playset of these cards. Um, yeah, then for the 5 drops I'm playing Double Smoker. This card is very nice because for a 5 drop it essentially has just like the... Um, the vanilla stats where it has 7k but then it also can't be killed by your opponent's card effect so it's really hard to get off the field. And with one done, if there's a character with zero cost in play, it has double attack, so this card's absolutely insane. But I don't think it's warranted to play the full playset, because uh, I also wanted to play... Uh, where is it? Uh, double Hina for the 5 costs. Um, it's just nice that this has a counter, because Smoker doesn't. And also the unblock effect, where you can basically stun one of your opponent's 6 costs or less characters, is very strong. Uh, you really don't have a lot of cards in hand while you're playing this deck uh, compared to other decks, so I think it's important to play a decent amount of blockers, and this is essentially like a double blocker. Uh, so you can use those few counters you have in hand when you really need them. Um, yeah. Having a blocker is just very important in the deck, more so than in other decks, because again, you do treasure a lot of cards from your hand when you're trying to control the board. For example, when you're trying to do it with this guy, uh, just the full playset of Sakazuki. I mean, yeah, it just uh, gets rid of a uh, 5 cost or less character. And it's just a 7k beater. Um, yeah, again, I don't think there's a reason to not play the full playset of this. <laughs> don't have to go too much in depth about this card, I think. And then for the last character, I'm playing double Tendrop Kuzan. Uh, I think 3 is pretty much the standard, but I honestly, like, if you're not on the, on the curve, it, this card can be kind of bad, and sometimes the especially against decks like Whitebeard or Zoro, if you uh, want to drop this on the, on your turn and you can just get rid of one character pretty much while there's certain combinations like with less um, done with for example Sakazuki and Kobe you can get off two characters so it's just kind of situational but admittedly if you drop this card and the situation is a good situation for it this card is absolutely insane and can win you the game but seeing multiples of it kind of sucks because you hardly ever gonna play two of them in the same game it doesn't have a counter cost so uh, yeah just kind of testing two at the moment but i do have to admit i'm not drawing too much of them so i might actually pump it up to three again then for the events i'm just playing the full place of the meteor volcano just another removal card again i don't feel like i'm really lacking cost reduction in the deck even though my build might not be playing as much as some other builds but it's definitely important to always have access to removal and this card, you know, it's just a removal card. And the trigger effect is also really good if you want to cycle your hand for a uh, counter, for example. So, yeah, four of that. And then the last card in the deck is one of the Shockwave. Uh, again, I was testing two of this, but I was drawing it so much. I was like, man, I'm just going to come back to one. The reason I think this card is good is because, again, you don't have a lot of cards in hand uh, where you're trying to counter with this deck. So having a card that's basically a 4000 counter right, even though it does cost 2 down is, um, yeah, it's pretty good, so I might bump it up to 2 again as well, but it's just, there's so many cards I want to play and, you know, you can only play 50 cards. But yeah, and uh, it also chaos a 3 cost character, which is uh, also nice. 
so yeah, that's my first draft. Well, not really the first draft, but uh, one of the first drafts of my uh, smoker deck. Uh, let me know what you think of the smoker uh, archetype, if you will, uh, what your build looks like, and uh, how you think it fits in the meta. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be uh, showing some more One Piece content. So if you're up for that, be sure to like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And see you then.